Unstoppable Chrissy. I'm Unstoppable Jenny Rose. Today we're going to talk about remote controls. <laughs> Topic given to us by Jenny Rose. <laughs> well, we were talking earlier about um, watching TV shows and how the DVR is our savior <laughs> and how I hate commercials so I fast forward them. Yes, yeah, she does. But when I watch uh, things on DVR, my boyfriend, he has to have the remote. He won't let me re fast forward. He rewinds constantly if he misses something. It's just very annoying to have someone else have control of the remote. Like when I'm watching TV with you, as soon as the commercial comes on, you change the channel to something else. It's, it's like, like I, I'm like a, a human TV god. I know what else yes. is on. <laughs> I've always been like that. I would go and get cereal or something. I just don't understand commercials. They're bad. He just don't like them. They're bad. Every time a commercial comes on for me, I lower the TV because they're just so loud. I'm like, I have to lower. Yeah, it. why is that? <laughs> it's it's, so it's louder than the actual. Yes, shows. right. It's so. And I was complaining to that with Alan. I was like, mm -hmm. Why is it like that? Is it like, that's just this this cable company? I'm like, Is there something wrong with the stereo? Like, I'll be blasting the TV, <laughs> right? And then as soon as the commercial goes on, it goes boom. So loud. Yeah, it's annoying. It's very yeah. annoying. And, and, and you know. That they do that on purpose. Yeah, because they're trying to promote their commercial exactly. or whatever they want. Why don't you promote your show for Christ's sake? Make the show lo louder Better. and the commercial lower. Nobody, Nobody wants to hear the damn commercial. Even though some of them are funny, we love the Geico commercials. Right. I don't care who has um, power over the remote control. It's um, when a commercial comes on, just please lower it. And then the person usually gets like. So who has the. Com when you guys are watching TV, who has the remote? I let him have it like 90% of the time, but I'm always constantly telling him to lower the TV when there's a commercial comes but, on. But what are you doing when you're watching TV? You're sitting in front of your computer. I'm on Facebook or my phone. Yeah, you're not really paying attention. See, I would pay attention to her. I had the last time I sat through a whole movie. Oh my god. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I multitask. <laughs> oh, I'm a big multitasker. And he's not. He's got to focus on one thing at a time. And I'm like, can we hurry up at least? Have you ever asked him for the remote control? Oh, God <laughs> forbid. I get this whole thing about what a control freak I am. And a control freak. Control and he's not because he has it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, as soon as like we watch like a show that we mutually like, like I got him into Merlin. I never heard of that one. Oh, it's great. It's all basically what it sounds like. It's Merlin. Merlin? Yeah. You know, Camelot, Knights of the Rounds. Oh, okay. Magic. Right. It's on sci-fi, and we cool. DVR it. And this is a show I got him into. Mm -hmm. He has sold the remote. And it's your show. It's my show. <laughs> you know, mutual shows. That's funny. You know, I don't care that he has a remote when we're watching, you know, Law and Order or SVU or right. any of those shows. Because his show, whatever, and I, I'm not even watching it. But when I watch Law and Order, oh my God, SVU, <sighs> the best forever. Yeah, those shows <laughs> upset me so much because they're all the same. It's always about somebody being raped, murdered. It's always a woman or the child. SVU is special victims unit. Yeah, it's annoying. They have criminal intent. And yeah, all, all that stuff. Ones, but SVU is my favorite. I was watching. Oh, and it's actually pretty funny. But then, you know, they have the ones where, the beginning where some kid finds another kid in a bag. It's just, like, really sad. Yeah. And it makes me angry. <laughs> Shows make you angry? Yes. <laughs> and the other one, the Navy one, makes me angry. The Navy one. Um, NCIS? Oh, NCIS or whatever it is. I think it's NCI. Oh, okay. That sounds right. Okay. I'm wrong. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I've never seen it. I've it's a Channel 4, it. I think. I've heard of it. It's, it's, it's I pretty cool. watch a lot of TV shows. I watch Smallville, Law and Orders, and then a couple of the reality shows I like. I don't watch it. I watch... I mean, you never like reality shows? I stop watching reality shows when they stop being real. Right. <laughs> like, no matter what they say, it's scripted. They pick oh, people definitely. that are loud, obnoxious, that are going to fight, and mm -hmm. just, you know, act crazy and stupid, and make fools of themselves. But they're going to be embarrassed. <laughs> Yet yeah, they make tons of money for being stupid. I hate that. Right. I, I can't believe you know. Do that. Anyway, no, I watch. What do I watch? Watch Sons. I don't know that one either. You know so Sons of Anarchy? Oh I have Sons of Sons of Anarchy. I've heard of it. I see it on everybody's Facebook status, but I've never seen. Yeah, it. Yeah, I watch that. We watch Merlin. We I watch, watch cartoons. <laughs> I haven't watched a good cartoon in a while. Sailor Moon's coming back, I can't wait. That was my addiction. All the 90s cartoons are coming that's back on Nickelodeon. I'm so uh, excited. Well, I watch a lot of Boomerang, too. Yeah, that's good, too. 
But, uh, yeah, I can't think of anything I really watch, watch. I'm into those ABC family shows. Uh, the Secret Life. I'm into the Secret Life, which my little cousin makes fun of me. I, I was watching Greek. I'm so sad, but I'm happy the way it ended. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched Make It or Break It, which is pissing me off, too. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, it's my guilty pleasure. Right. It, it really gets you away yeah. from your boring day at work mm-hmm. or just the, the routine, and you can have drama without actually having drama. Right. So why do you think everyone has to have power of the remote control? It's right. a control thing. You have you have to have I don't know. Like I wanna You think it's a control thing? I'm just like so programmed to know when the commercial's gonna come on and when it's gonna end <laughs> that I should have control of the remote. So he thinks I'm a control freak, but really it's just my knowledge of things. Right. <laughs> like he fast forwards too much mm-hmm. and he doesn't fast forward when I want him to. It's just like, it would be just simpler if he gives me the remote. <laughs> I'd be happier if I had the remote. Yeah, I know you would be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like I'm a control freak and we have to watch what I want to watch. I'm, you know, when I'm watching with other people, I try to make it something everybody would be interested in. Right. I always ask, especially, you know, Chrissy lets me have the remote because she doesn't care. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't care. But it's not like I want to watch something that she wouldn't like. Right. But we have a lot of comments with that, you know. Oh, Bully Beatdown, Ellen's got me into that. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that. And it's so funny, and and the fights are fun to watch, and it's just nice to, you know, stick it to the big guy. (laughs) And it's a really funny show on um, MTV2. Mm-hmm. I don't know when it's normal time is, but it's like on all the time. And it's about bullies that yeah, mayhem or something. Yeah, mayhem is an M T uh, M E T M T E M T A M T A. Okay. I see. I'm so bad with these acronyms. It's not even funny. Right. And M T A fighter or X one, and he hosts the show. Mm-hmm. People send him tape videos about how they're being bullied. And he goes up to the bully and be like, how would you like to make 10 grand? All you have to do is get in, in a ring with my, one of my fighters. And they get their ass beat. <laughs> and the money they lose goes to their victims. And that's the best part, is watching right. these guys get their ass whipped. Nice. So if you like fighting... That's another topic we should talk about. I like fighting and violence. the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I watched that. Well, that's nice. basically what they are. That's they're, they're either still in the game or they've been in the game. Right. And won all these titles and stuff. So, yeah. What topic do you want to discuss next? Well, I was talking about violent. You know, maybe we should talk about violence on, on television and our shows. Mm-hmm. I tell the woman at work, I ordered WrestleMania. She's like, Jenny, that's garbage violence. And I'm like, yeah, I but wrestling. I would just, <laughs> I think on one hand, it's like, okay, don't do what they do on television. It's entertainment. But yeah, it gets out your own frustrations yeah. without taking it out on somebody. Right. But um, that's another topic that we should oh, talk about definitely. maybe next week on the phone. Yeah, we'll talk about violence and entertainment and video games. But the difference is, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And knowing and the difference. Movies, yeah. You know, that, you know, that whole sex sells thing shouldn't be, but it is. And yes. maybe we can change that one one YouTube account at a time, one video maybe. at a time. Maybe. We never know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Chrissy's going to give you all the information, too, on yes, I will. your input, your comments, what yeah. you would like to hear us talk about. Definitely. Send your comments and ideas, show ideas, topics, anything you want to discuss, send it to unstoppabletalk at gmail.com. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. We're all over the place. Yeah, so if you can't find us where you normally find us, Look for us somewhere else. I guess. We're there. We're there. We'll talk. All right. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.